So, I'm a dude. Wow. Right? I'm a cis dude. Wow. And I'm also a feminist. But wait, doesn't that mean you hate men? Well... I don't know what that voice was. No, as a matter of fact, it doesn't mean that I hate men. I am a man. Well... That would be kind of silly. The definition of feminism that I work with, and most people who identify themselves as feminists work with, is the fight for the equality of the sexes. Isn't that egalitarianism? Though. Yes, there is a very loud, very angry minority of people who claim the term whose real goal is to just dethrone men and put women in the place, but that's not, that's the exact same problem. There's so, if you are a feminist, then these are the people that you identify with. There's always a huge discussion over the definition of feminism, and I just think that's, that's rather silly. And that's fine, mate. You can think it as silly as you want, but whatever you do, do not Google the definition and put it up on the screen. I beg you. Right, I think there are a lot more bigger, important issues at hand here. I don't really care about what you label yourself as or what you don't label yourself as. So your next step will be shutting up then? So why do I, a dude, need feminism, right? I stand to benefit a lot from the current power structures of the genders, right? A lot. Oh yeah, the benefits are amazing. Yeah, you're more likely to commit suicide, more likely to lose your kids in divorce court, more likely to go to prison and for a longer sentence. The, the benefits are amazing. So completely disregarding the small fact that women are also people and just general being a solid a decent human being. These are my selfish reasons for needing feminism. I oh, Connor, Connor, Connor. I don't think you can be a solid, decent human being and a feminist, mate. I'm sorry. I need feminism because in a world governed by the current gender roles applied to men and women, I would not be very successful at that. If no one is making anyone stick to any gender roles, traditional or otherwise, if you want to stay at home with the kids, Connor, that's up to you, but literally no one gives a shit. All of a sudden, I found myself time-traveled back into the 1950s, being married with two kids, having to provide for the family, having to make all the decisions completely for everyone in the house. Oh god, I would not do well at that at all. Yeah, but on the plus side, they didn't have YouTube back then. I'm shy, I'm passive, I'm definitely not good at making decisions for other people. That would be bad news bears, the family would fall the freak apart. Which would mean no ancestral line, which would mean you wouldn't have any living relatives alive today to annoy me. Connor, I think you should look into this, mate. I work best in a relationship when the person that I'm with is my companion companion when we're a team, making decisions together as like a yeah, go us sort of movement. <laughs> You do know this isn't a dating site, don't you? Related to that, I need feminism because I'm not very good at being a traditional man. I yeah, it's not that I didn't want to say it, but more... I kind of thought it went without saying. I went to an all-guys high school. Yeah, and I spent most of my time in high school trying to be a better dude. And, uh, how did that work out then? I say try because I failed often, and sometimes I would slip and do something traditionally feminine, like sit with my legs crossed or... Suck a dick. ...say something with a higher intonation in my voice, and, uh, did not end well from social status. If uh, yeah, but I mean, were you really doing that well in the first place, Connor? I mean, zero divided by a million is still zero. If the goals of feminism succeed and everyone's allowed to exist as they are without any pressures from outside sources, yeah, that's great, but that's good for me. If the goals of feminism succeed, then all men will be castrated, Connor. So yeah, I guess that is good for you because you'll finally fit in. Right, I can just straight up do hill clicks in the hallways without being accused of being gay every five seconds, and that's pretty rad. No, no, that's probably one of the few things that will remain the same. I don't have to worry about participating in the eternal pissing contest that is masculinity because I run Ironically, one of the most fragile things in human existence is traditional masculinity. You no one is forcing you to be masculine. Well, I mean, quite clearly, but the point still stands. All these dudes doing dude stuff together, all of a sudden one of them exhibits one iota, one shred of femininity, and all of a sudden he's a girl, or he's gay, or he's a pussy, or something like that. That's how it works. That's how it stuff works. I, I am sensing some deep-seated issues here, Connor. Are you okay? At the end of the day, despite the name feminism, it's all the same fight. Women's rights and men's rights are the same thing. Same fight, same battle. Fucking is it bollocks. If that were true, there would be no such thing as an MRA. The reason that I and most people who call themselves feminists are okay with the term feminism being used, despite its implied message that women should be above men, is be Implied? Connor, do yourself a favor and Google scum manifesto. Because women have been the systematically oppressed gender between men and women. Yeah, they were, back in the day when feminism was needed. But equality has been achieved, at least in the West, and feminism is no longer needed. 
but some people just don't want the party to stop. And that's not even taking into account trans people and anyone else who falls off the gender binary. You can call yourself a feminist, you cannot call yourself a feminist, but- Oh, cheers, Connor. Do you hear that, everyone? We got Connor's permission now. At the end of the day, it's an important thing that we need to talk about. Because despite those silly reasons why I need feminism, I need feminism because everyone needs feminism. Because oh, so it's like a fashion thing. Oh, you wait until you hear about Islam, Connor. You're gonna love it. There's a fuck ton of Muslims. Because when I drive home from work and I hear songs like Blurred Lines and Talk Dirty to Me, which make women out to be an object of a man's pleasure. Right, first of all, radio stations tend to play songs that are popular. So perhaps you should assess whether or not millions of people can all be wrong at the same time. Secondly, if you really are a feminist and genuinely care about the issues, you need to realign your sights, motherfucker, because it's fucked up over in the Middle East for women and you are complaining about the lyrics to popular music. We gotta talk about it. When one of those songs gets voted to be the number one hit of 2013, we gotta talk about it. So that means more people bought copies of those songs than anything else. Think about it, Connor. It wasn't just men that bought it. And have you seen the girls in the club when Blurred Lines comes on? They're not thinking about being objectified, mate. I talk to female friends of mine all the time about how they're constantly harassed and valued for only their appearance over the internet and in person while walking down the street. We gotta talk about it. And well then, either your friends are lying about being constantly harassed or they really are the type of person that you can only value for their looks. I mean, they can't be that smart if they're your friends. This beautiful and imperfect world in which we live in, we have a lot of things we gotta talk about. There can one of them please be video games? Or bear. There are a lot of people out there who say things like, we don't need feminism anymore because there are laws in place that make women equal to men. And yeah, that's true. Well, then I really don't get... What, what the fuck, Connor? What the fuck? I've come an incredibly long way, but we still have a real long way to go. And bottom line, just because it's a law, it doesn't mean it changes how people think. That change happens on an individual level, not on a systematic one. You can't change how people think, Connor. For instance, I would like for you to start actually thinking, but I can't make you. I can only hope. That's all I can do, Connor. Hope. It starts on the individual level, then it branches out, and eventually systematic and important cultural change happens. Well then make the change, Connor. Paint a painting of a vagina, write a song about vaginas, anything but this. And that's what, that's what we gotta fight for. Because it isn't just women's fight, it's everyone's fight, and everyone stands to benefit from a world in which everyone can exist as themselves, for themselves, and for everyone else involved. That well then if everyone is fighting for the same benefits, Connor, who are we fighting? Robin Thicke? That's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Ma oh, thank fuck for that. If you want to continue the conversation, definitely hit up the comments, and if you like the video... No, Connor. You make me wish your father either did or didn't abuse you. Whichever one made you this fucked up.